Hey guys, I'm going to be showing you how to solve a 3x3 three three or the normal Rubik's Cube. So what you want to do is you want to make something called the white cross. So the white cross is when there's the middle white piece right here. And then there's white pieces right here, 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 and here. But the one thing about the white cross that most people get confused with when they're trying to solve the Rubik's Cube is the colors on the sides, right? They need to match up with the middle pieces next to them. So see how that's matched up? Yeah. And this is pretty intuitive. There's no, like... You just gotta do it on your own, pretty much. And once you have... And you solve it... And you gotta check, are all three of your white pieces matched up. This one is, see, blue, red, green, and orange. So that means they're all matched up together. So then what you wanna do is put in all the corner pieces into right here. So pretty much what you wanna do is you wanna find that, okay, this one's blue and red, right? This one has white, which is what we need, and then it has blue right here and red. So what we want to do is we want to put this piece in right here, but this piece has got to be facing up. So what you want to do is you want to do this one out here. Up, side, down, side. Up, side, down, side. And keep doing that, and it should be right here. So what you want to do is pretty much just have this, like, the piece that you want up in right there on the top right here, and then just do it. Just do the algorithm. And then what you, once you have done all that, once you've done all the pieces, you should have your first layer done. Now that you've had your first layer done, you want to insert all the middle pieces for the second layer. So what you want to do is you want to, <coughs> you want to find the piece that goes in, say, we'll do blue red again. So this one has a blue right here. And it's red on the top, so that means it would go in right here. So, what we want to do is see, if it were red, we would be putting it right on top of the red one. But it's blue right here, so we want it to be like this. Then, move it away from the red piece to the opposite side. Then, since it's on this side, we want to do the same moves again, like that. The upside, downside, this one. Upside, downside. Then, we want to turn it over like this to our other hand, and then do it on the opposite. So it's pretty much the same thing, you just do it on the opposite side. Up, side, down, and you don't have to do side to side. Then, what I'll do next is, this one is blue, and there's orange right there, it goes in right here, move it away. And if it's, if you move it away to this side, this way, then you just do the um, opposite one first. Alright. Now you have that piece done, and you just keep doing that around until you get all of your pieces solved. Alright, now once you've done that, what you want to do is you want to check, is this piece, does this piece only have one? Just the yellow piece right here. Does it have a line with these yellow pieces going like this? Or does it have this little... L right here. With each one, you pretty much do the same thing, only with the yellow, with the line right here, you put it instead of like, you gotta put it down here. Turn these first two faces, oh! Turn these first two faces to the side like this. Do the same moves I showed you once. Put it back up, and you should have that yellow cross. And if it's only a line right here, what you want to do is turn the, make it so it's not like this, but it's down like this. And you turn the front side once, do the move. Then you should have just a little piece once you've done that. And then you just do that same thing. If it's just a dot, you doesn't it doesn't matter where you do it. Just do down like this, down like that. And then once you've done that, you gotta check, are all your cross pieces in the right spot? Just like how we were doing it with the blue side. 
they all need to be matching the same color as this. Like, just how we were doing it with the white side. But if they're all done, then you can skip this part. But it's good to know, even if you don't, so you can solve it as, and again. <coughs> so what you want to do is you want to check are any of your pieces in the same pattern. So what you want to do is you want to try to make it to where there's only one matching piece and the rest are all in the wrong space. And then what you want to do is called a soon algorithm. It's up, side, down, side this way again, up again, and putting it back in. And that should put your cross in the right place if it doesn't just keep doing it. And then once you've done that, you want to put in, just like how you did with the white side, you want to put in the yellow pieces. But you don't want to do it the same way you were doing it like that. What you want to do is first, you want to put them all in the right spot, right? So this is pretty much how you do it with a 2 by uh, two. By two. What you want to do is you want to do the uh, this algorithm. You want to find a piece that's in the right spot. Mine doesn't have any, so I'll just do it from anywhere. And then you gotta check, are any of your pieces in the right spot? I have one right here. This piece is in the right spot. It doesn't have to be like, say, it's like this. It doesn't matter. It can just be like that, right? <coughs> and then you wanna hold that piece right here. And you wanna do the same thing. Side up, side up, side down, side down. And then you wanna check, are all of your pieces in the right spot? Mine aren't. You want to go the same thing. And then what you got to do is you want to put them right side up. So what you want to do is you want to do the same algorithms that I showed you before. And just go. Right. It looks like your cube is broken right now, but it's actually the same. So what you want to do is you then want to turn this part over like this to this spot. Like the same spot you were doing it. You don't want to turn it over like this because that would mess up your cube. What you want to do is you just want to put it under where you were doing it before and then just keep doing it and then you should have your cube solved thank you guys for watching please subscribe and maybe even comment if you did like something or if you want to see a different kind of thing like i don't know just ideas i need some bye